Hey everybody, Coach Keel here, and today we are going to talk about the healing power of gratitude. Okay, so have you ever gone through something difficult or just wake up feeling negative? So maybe the week is long, maybe work is stressful, or you're going through something really hard personally and just can't seem to dig yourself out of a hole. I know I have. Um, in fact, just recently, I went through something extremely personally heavy that required some kind of deep emotional healing. And it was one of these instances and in the situations where I very easily could have just wallowed in it and let it overtake my entire life and bring me into kind of a deep, dark hole. And I woke up one morning, not long after the incident, and I was like, okay, what, what can I do to make it so that I move through this process and heal in a positive, graceful, and stronger manner? And I kind of just started writing. And what came to me was gratitude. And every morning moving forward, I started thinking of the things that I was grateful for. The things that gave me pleasure, the things that made me smile or made my heart full. And there was so much power in doing this. And I found myself in starting each morning feeling grateful, feeling thankful, and in more of a positive and enlightened space versus being in this really dark, terrible, like scary space that I easily could have been in. And it was so healing to focus on the good things in my life versus the things that just weren't going right at the time. And so I really realized just how powerful and healing gratitude, something so simple, something so small, being just writing down a few grateful things was. And it really helps to put us into this positive mind frame, mindset. It reminds us of the things that are important to us. It reminds us to think of the things that are worthwhile in our life and to find the beauty in even the smallest little things that are going on. And so it's there's so much benefit to gratitude. And because of this, I kind of wanted to share a little bit with you on it. So it's a very small and simple thing that you can do. It takes five minutes of your day. We all have five minutes in our day, especially, you know, five minutes drinking your coffee in the morning and going and thinking of something positive about the day. Five minutes. What you do each morning, take out a piece of paper, a planner, your phone, doesn't really matter anything, and a pen and paper and write down five things that you're grateful for. And what this does is it makes it so that you start your day with a sense of gratitude. And what that does for you, and here's the benefits to gratitude. It helps connect us to the world around us. It helps cultivate a positive emotion to start the day, a positive feeling, just puts you in a positive mindset when you start the day. And then it makes it so that what you're doing is you're instantly looking for positive things in the day because you started your brain off by thinking positive things. Our brain works that way. When we tell it to do something, then it's going to think that way. So if we start the day off thinking about positive things in our life, we're going to see more positive things throughout the day. And it'll make it when the obstacles and the roadblocks and just the crap that gets thrown at us throughout the day won't seem as bad because what we'll do is our brain will instantly go, okay, yeah, that's bad, but you know what? I'm gonna look at the bright side of it. I'm gonna look at the good that has come out of the day versus the bad. So it also reminds us of things that are worthwhile to us because sometimes it's so easy to get lost in everything else that's going on in life, especially in a kind of a sense of turmoil and to see what we actually find being worthwhile and that small things can be worthwhile. It leads to greater happiness and it really does lead to an increased empathy for yourself and for others. But one of the coolest things is yourself because when you have a greater empathy for yourself, a greater gratitude for yourself, have more grace for yourself, you open your heart, you open your mind to others and you get have more space for others. And that is where the power comes from. So 
if there is so much power in this, why is it that we have such a hard time doing it? Well, that's a great question. Sometimes when we really allow ourselves to sit down, slow down and recognize and feel some of these things that are powerful and grateful, it can, it can leave us a little bit more vulnerable because what we're doing is we're putting ourselves into the present moment. We are becoming aware of the things that make us happy and the things that keep us present and the things that we believe are worthwhile. But this can be an opener. It can be a little bit of a gateway towards sadness and vulnerability. And that vulnerability is really scary. And people are seeing it's very scary to be vulnerable. Uh, it's uncomfortable. It can make us anxious. And we don't necessarily like to. And so that kind of gateway can make it so that we have a really hard time doing it. However, when we allow ourselves to feel those feelings and to realize that there is beauty within that vulnerability, then we can really find that there is a sense of calm because we are looking towards something else outside of that vulnerability that is more powerful than the sadness and it's very invigorating. So how do we do this? How do we become more grateful for the things that are going on in our life? Be accepting of yourself. And I think that's the number one key, giving yourself some grace. And this is hard to, hard to do. And when I was going through, and you know, still am, still working through kind of this extremely vulnerable state that I was in, having an acceptance of the feelings that I was feeling and an acceptance for the strength that is inside me was really hard. Because all I wanted to do was kind of ball up into a little shell and shut out the world and not talk to anybody and just say, I'll, you know, I'll ride the storm. But when you give yourself some grace and some space and some, like not gratitude, sorry, some acceptance of the fact that you are vulnerable and the acceptance that you, you know, you, there is a piece of you that maybe needs some work, we have more space to be grateful. It sounds so simple, but it is so true. That's the cool thing about gratitude is it's so simple, but so hard and so powerful. Our brains cannot tell the difference between reality and imaginary. And so what we tell ourselves on a regular basis, that is what our brain believes. And so when we, and same goes for actions. When we continually express gratitude towards ourselves, towards the things that we have, towards other people, towards our actions, towards things that are happening in the world, our brain will look for things that are full of gratitude. And that what it does is it keeps you in the present moment. It keeps you living life with intention and purpose. I will be really honest. I didn't, I did not truly believe in this until I started doing it about four weeks ago. So it's been about four weeks since I started this practice of every morning writing down somewhere around five things that I'm grateful for. And I cannot tell you how much more intent I have without the day, more positivity I have throughout the day. And this amazing ability to just let go of the things that maybe could potentially bring me down. And when something is triggering, I can turn to those things that I wrote down this morning and find peace within myself for them. It didn't seem that powerful until I did it. And I can't tell you enough of how amazing it is to have grace and gratitude for the little things in life versus only thinking about the negative things in life. Life is not about getting what you deserve, but it's about receiving what we already have. And the more that we can receive what we have, actually the more space you have to get more things and get more out of your life. And it becomes easier to let go of frustration, let go of disappointment, let go of sadness, let go of anger, because you are not allowing room for those. And you have so much more space within you. So I challenge you for the next five days, next seven days, maybe the next month, think about what are you grateful for? Write down every morning five things that you are grateful for. And think, then what is it? What do you notice about your mindset? What is different when you start your day with gratitude? When you start your day feeling grateful for you and the things that are in your life, what's different? 
So that's what I challenge you to do. Start your day with gratitude. I promise you, from my own personal experience, it will change your life.